First, just put a shout out uh, to uh, www.pastorpaulgold.com on behalf of noblegoldinvestment.com. That's www.pastorpaulgold.com. And you can call them this morning at 877 646 5347. Uh, the information that they want to share with you today is if you're trying to navigate to market um, turbulence, if you're trying to navigate through this tur a very weird time, why not set course to the Noble Gold Investment safe haven at www.pastorpaulgold.com. With global uncertainty looming, your savings and retirement plans are under siege. But there's one asset that stood the test of time gold. It is a biblical currency. Unlock the peace of mind that comes with owning gold and the ultimate safe haven it provides. And if precious metals are new to you, <clears throat> Noble Gold Investment will hold your hand through the whole process. They have a team of experts who will guide you every step of the way to safety. Thousands of investors have sheltered their retirement savings by going to www.pastorpaulgold.com. Don't leave yourself exposed to the markets right now. It's way too risky. But with gold at an all-time high, looking to climb further, this would be a perfect time. Matter of fact, over at Op uh, Noble Gold Investments, you can open an IRA or roll over that 401k, <clears throat> secure your future, and they will give you this three ounces of pure silver, uh, America silver, virtue coin for free so this is a, a good way to get off to a great start with a new year with www.pastorpaulgold.com again you can call them at 877-646-5347 and tell them that pastor paul sent you there well a drone attack overnight on a small u.s outpost in jordan resulted in the tragic deaths of three U.S. Army soldiers with over 30 service members sustaining injuries, as reported by U.S. officials to CNN. This marks the first instance of U.S. troops being fatally targeted by enemy fire in the Middle East since the commencement of the Gaza War. Addressing the incident, U.S. President Joe Biden, while speaking in South Carolina on Sunday, asserted, quote, We shall respond. The assault occurred at Tower 22 in Jordan, near the Syrian border, representing a significant escalation in an already precarious situation in the Middle East. Officials attribute the drone attack to Iran-backed militants, and the origin appears to be from Syria, CNN is reporting. The responsible militia group is still yet to be definitively identified. On Sunday, U.S. Central Command confirmed in a statement that the three service members lost their lives, with at least 34 others injured in a one-way drone attack that struck a base in northeast Jordan. CITCOM further disclosed that eight injured service members were medically evacuated for advanced care. The count of wounded individuals is anticipated to increase as further assessments are conducted. On Monday, a Hong Kong court issued an order for the liquidation of the prominent property giant China Evergrande Group, a move that is likely to create ripples in China's faltering financial markets as policymakers work to contain an escalating crisis. Justice Linda Chan's decision to liquidate the world's most indebted developer, burdened with over $300 billion in total liabilities, comes after Evergrande failed to present a concrete restructuring plan more than two years after defaulting on a bond repayment, despite several court hearings. Evergrande's CEO, Su Shun, assured Chinese media that the company would ensure the completion of home building projects despite the liquidation order. He emphasized that the order would not impact the operations of Evergrande's onshore and offshore units, Reuters reported. This ruling sets the stage for a complex and protracted process potentially involving political considerations given the various authorities that are involved.
Iran has executed four individuals reportedly linked to an Israeli bomb plot targeting a weapons factory. This development follows a recent drone strike by Iranian-backed forces in Syria that resulted in the death of three U.S. troops, intensifying concerns about a potential third world war. The executed men were allegedly planning to attack a defense ministry factory involved in missile and defense equipment in Isfahan, as reported by the IRNA news agency. According to reports, the operation, orchestrated by Israel's Mossad agency, was intended to take place in 2022. The four individuals had purportedly received training from the Israeli intelligence agency in a country in Africa before entering Iran through the Kurdistan region of Iraq, the U.S. Sun reported. Iranian intelligence is said to have thwarted the plot. The execution of the four men took place on Monday after the Supreme Court dismissed their appeals as conveyed by Iranian state media. The method of execution was not specified, but in Iran, it typically involves hanging.